Any redistricting proposal dissecting Flint into two districts is a 21st century version of Jim Crow. People with strong opinions spoke out about proposals that will determine voting lines across Michigan for the next decade. The Michigan Redistricting Commission hosted two public forums in Flint today. A member tells TV5's Kendall Keyes, not everyone is going to be happy with what members ultimately decide. This is probably the biggest thing I've ever done because it affects everybody. Independent Richard Weiss from Saginaw is on the Michigan Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission. He's tasked with redrawing district lines. So what's on the line? It's very important that people understand what we're doing. We're setting up the districts, trying to draw them so they have proper representation to have done what they'd like to have done you know, in Washington and in Lansing. This is the fifth and final public hearing where residents are able to make their voices heard before the maps are finalized. The commission's goal for finalized maps is by the end of December. Once the maps are approved, then that would mean that would take up the uh, next election in 2022 in November. There are several maps on the table for consideration. The goal is to make each district more evenly balanced instead of creating ones that favor one party over another. Would would they be legitimate? Would they be legal? Um, will they make everybody happy? Probably not. Questions the commission asks themselves while hearing every public opinion. But pleasing everybody with these maps is no small feat. We will get the input from the public and obviously take notes and then go back and compare the notes with previous meetings and then this meeting and then see if it's a possibility to take and change the maps in some way where most people will be happy or everybody would be happy. I would like, but I don't think that's going to happen. Reporting in Flint, Kendall Keyes, WNEM TV5.